let's go through some options you have to improve your water quality. A lot of people get distilled water, which removes impurities. The water is boiled, it turns the vapor, leaves the salt behind, and you collect the condensed water as it cools, and you got distilled water, that H2O molecule that's unnatural in life. It's got nothing it's bonding to. So the water, to regain its structure, looks for stuff in your body to bond to. It'll snatch minerals from your body. That's not good. The good news is you can just add a good quality salt to your distilled water to give it structure. Then it won't snatch the minerals from your body. Like Himalayan salt. That's what I use. I'll put a link below. Then there's alkaline water. You've probably seen it in store shelves. Now this water is ionized with man-made machines that induce electricity to make it a more alkaline pH. People who are acidic are concerned and want to drink this water to help balance their system out. Your body naturally tries to maintain homeostasis, balancing its acidic nature with its alkaline nature. There's a lot of things in our body that are acidic, like our stomach, we need that acid. And when we talk pH, we're talking about our mineral content. There's acidic minerals like phosphorus, and then there's alkaline minerals like magnesium and calcium. If you eat the right foods with a natural whole food diet, you're gonna get that natural pH that your body is striving for. Homeostasis, balance within the body. I love that word, always have. And there's still gonna be byproducts in this water like pharmaceuticals and hormone replacement medications. Then there's the reverse osmosis water. This is a pretty effective system at getting out all those harmful chemicals and hormonal medications. It's like distilled water. Only in this process, they try to mimic the filtration process that the earth puts the water through. You force the water through a semi-permeable membrane using high pressure. This sifts out a lot of the negative stuff and the minerals too. So like distilled water, you have to restructure it. So put your salts in there. Here's a few ways to restructure your water, which is especially important if you drink distilled water or reverse osmosis water. First, I talked about the salt. As I mentioned, I used Himalayan sea salt. Then there's lemon. Add lemon to your water. It has an antiviral effect. So it's like a boost to your immune system. Don't overdo it though because if you have too much acidity in your teeth, you'll erode the enamel. You can add electrolytes to your water. You can also let fruit marinate in your water. Adding fruits to your water gives it an extra boost of minerals and electrons. When I'm at home, I'm always using my Aqua True water filter. It's legit. It's not one of the cheap store-bought ones that are very limited in their capacity to filter out what you need to be filtered out. No, this is a four-stage reverse osmosis system. There's three different filters you change out, and it's smart enough to alert you whenever your filter needs to be changed so you can keep up with it. Of course, it's a glass container, so you're not using any plastics. There's no installation or plumbing involved. You can choose from different sizes depending on your needs, how big is your family. Oh yeah, it's been independently tested for NSF standards. This lets you know that your water has been purified to remove contaminants, chemicals, and impurities. Now it is an investment, not a big one, but it gives you peace of mind knowing that you're drinking good quality water. And I could really taste the difference if I drink out of this versus the actual tap. So give it a shot, I'll put a link below. Take the knowledge you've gained from this video, go out there and get the best water. Treat your body how it deserves to be treated and live optimally so you can create the world you wanna live in. See you next time.